And with me right now from United is the board president, Juanita Skillman, and also Pat English is here, one of the board members. We're going to talk about a few different things, and we're also going to talk about the handyman service, right? Right. That yeah. was the crown jewel from our meeting this week. We yes, finally it was. got it passed. Um, we've been working on it for about six months, I guess, and we've got all the, we hope mm -hmm. kinks worked out, we're ready to go, and Pat's going to go into that a little bit. Okay. I just want to talk about some of the things that uh, had their first reading, and uh, mm -hmm. as I've mentioned on, on TV before, first reading is when <clears throat> it comes and it is uh, presented for the first time, but we don't take a vote on it. Right. And then it goes out for 30-day comment. And that's not just our residents, but also our directors. If they have questions about it or need further information, that's the time they can get it so that hopefully at the next meeting, when we actually bring it forward to, br to vote, uh, the questions will be will be answered and people will know what they're doing. Okay. So we had uh, three <coughs> uh, things that were, were brought out uh, for next meeting and that is mostly with appliances. Uh, as I've talked about mm -hmm. before when I've been on, we're updating our appliance standard uh, policies and procedures and we had some new ones to three new ones to put in this time which go on our 30-day um, and one is on the appliance uh, we've had a problem before with people who have had their appliances replaced by uh, united standard appliances but they've put in alteration countertops for instance ah, sure. and <clears throat> our people would not put the appliances in say a dishwasher because they might break the countertop and do some damage and so mm -hmm. we've got a, a new thing where we they can sign a waiver and we can actually get that and do it for them so they okay. don't have to call somebody from the outside. Um, we also have a, one on satellite dishes. Satellite dishes are popular but getting less popular and of course we don't want to talk about satellite dishes they should be watching BT. <laughs> uh, but if they do there are certain uh, rules and regulations of where they can be, mm -hmm. how big they can be, where they can't be, how, okay. all that type of thing. So we brought th that up to date. And then also one on patio brick walls. Uh, almost all of our patios have brick walls that come standard mm -hmm. with the air and some people have changed them and some people want them raised or lowered or whatever. So this will uh, okay. go through that and let everybody know how we can do that. Um, the other thing that we brought forward, we had talked about last month, but there were questions from some of our directors, and so we brought it forward again this month with some of the explanations for them, and that's our vacant manor policy. Mm -hmm. We do have a, uh, a concern in the village with vacant manors, because as United, we're the landlords, we own the manors, and we need to make sure that they're uh, okay and there aren't any leaks in them and they're not attracting vermin and all of those kinds of things because it's only uh, fair to the neighbors right and this is not against our sunbirds or our uh, snowbirds who are here just part of the year or people who use this as a vacation home or mm -hmm. whatever this is just ones that uh, for some reason or other they don't sell and okay. they're vacant, there's nobody there, and it's, it's a problem. And you were, <clears throat> were, did I hear this right? Somebody for like 20 some odd years? 26 years is the one we have the most. And yet it's been paid <laughs> as the far as the assessments. The assessments are paid all the time. That's incredible uh, And I think I me. managed, uh, mentioned last time, some of this is they want to keep it in the family. And so the mm -hmm. member dies, and they just keep paying the assessments and thinking I'm going to take it over someday. The average length for wow. these vacant manors is three years, and that, that's too long. That's yeah. not a good uh, idea for all of the mm. neighbors that are there. Uh, and then, <clears throat> last but not least, we adopted a new membership certificate and envelope. Uh, we have mentioned over and over and over <laughs> again, your membership stock certificate 
is a legal document that you need to have. And if you have to replace it, it can cost you thousands of dollars. Wow. It's a percentage of whatever the resale price is. Mm -hmm. And you can't resale your manor until you have that. So we want people to put it away in a safety deposit box, a safe place, something like that, so it's readily available. But because it said membership certificate, a lot of, for instance, heirs who don't know our village would come in and not realize this is the stock certificate. Yeah, I can understand and that. And <clears throat> so yeah. we, we clarified the language on that. And we're going to put it in a nice little envelope with very clear language on the outside. And hopefully we won't have as okay. many people losing it. And then <clears throat> coming over from last month because we didn't have 30 days again, mm -hmm. and our bill in the state Senate went through this week to the Senate floor, and we hope will be passed, okay. and that will change the 30 days to 28 days mm -hmm. so that we won't have this mess anymore. But we are bringing forward the uh, resale deposit policy that we introduced before, and the soffit and ceiling policy for the uh, um, alterations and another alteration on just the general requirements and one on air conditioning. So the other thing that will be going forward is uh, uh, golf cart prices. Okay, so all right. Get all of those done. If you have any information, <laughs> if you've got questions, if you've got comments about any of those things, please let us know. You can just uh, contact one of a, a board member individually or send a letter uh, to the United Board here at the Community Center and Catherine will copy it and give it to every one of us and we know then what your views or questions and somebody will get back to you. All right, very good. Now let's move on, Pat, to <laughs> handyman services. <clears throat> and uh, I know this has been, been worked on uh, for quite a while with United and Third is uh, having their own version of it as well. Not this year. Oh, they're not <laughs> this year. Okay, that I didn't know. Nope, it's okay. just us this year. And all so right. for all of you people in Third, and I've had half a dozen calling me and saying, can't we get in on it too? Not this year. All right, year. I didn't know that. I'm <laughs> glad you brought that up. So first kind of give a, 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 an overview. Yes. And then I know this was talked about a bit at the meeting what this is, uh, what, what really the catalyst is this for? Because you know, and as obviously you know, in United, different than Third, even though they don't have this right now, is that there are things that you automatically come in and take care Absolutely. of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The co -op guys. Yes. Okay. So I'm really excited about this, and that's why I'm on this morning, and I'm happy to be on, and I hope I can share my enthusiasm with all of you. The handyman service program is designed to help the residents. And excuse me that I am reading it. I didn't have much time to prepare it, and my memory's not that great these days. So, <laughs> uh, anyway, it's designed to help the residents with a wide range of repairs and other help not covered by monthly assessments or chargeable services. Our VMSI staff researched the program provided by Rossmore in Warnock Creek. Initially, their program had dedicated handyman staff to respond to requests. By the end of the first year, 800 manors were enrolled and the number steadily increased, resulting in the allocation of two and a half handyman staff to the program. The handyman program will offer services listed in the description of services for a 12-month period at a cost of $200 per subscriber. The handyman services is renewable annually, and residents who sign up for the service will receive up to three monthly visits by the VMSA staff, not to exceed two hours per visit. A description of services, the service agreement, and frequently asked questions will be posted on the Laguna Woods Village website. It is already. In okay. addition, the handyman program brochure will be displayed at the clubhouses and the desk of the community center. I also believe that we're going to be having uh, the actual applications will be handed out in the reception area at the okay. community center, which will be very helpful for everybody. And you give them back to the resident services when mm -hmm. you've got them filled out. One of the main features of this program is that it doesn't matter if the service required is the result of an original fixture 
or the result of an alteration. That's one of the main things about it. This is extremely important because up to now, an alteration problem was not addressed. This feature alone could save the resident a lot of money. For example, if you have some alteration electrical fixtures that need service, now under the handyman service program, they will be covered. The program goes with the unit. In other words, if your unit is sold, the remaining months of the service will stay with the unit. If you sold your unit and your handyman service was for three months into the program, the remaining nine months would stay with the unit. That's a real good selling point for you guys. I encourage all United members to sign up for this great program. I'll be the first in line. Thank you very much. Sure, I, I have a couple questions. Sure. Okay. And I want to make sure I clarify because I've heard uh, different things on this. When it comes to plumbing and electrical, I was uh, I was under the impression that there's certain things that they cannot do. Well, there's certain things that our co-op does anyway, okay. as part of the cooperative with electrical and plumbing. Okay. But there are little things um, like loose. Uh, plug-in areas okay. or um, with, the, with the plumbing maybe tightening something or whatever uh, and that's things that the handyman can do putting in a new faucet uh, those kinds of things now any deep plumbing or electrical right. that certainly is going to go through uh, our regular cooperative services okay now let's say <coughs> the alteration is somebody got a ceiling fan mm -hmm. would they be able to hang that ceiling fan because in a sense it does involve an electrical co connection. Well, it does, but the electrical is up there. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to say probably they'll be able to put okay. there. Uh, and, and a lot of it is, is simpler things, like changing light bulbs. Right. I don't feel steady getting up on a step ladder and doing mm -hmm. things like right. that. Anything that's, that's heavy, putting up curtain rods, uh, turning mattresses. Mm -hmm. uh, there's lots of things around the house that we as single women now, uh, don't have a honeydew to go do right. those for us, and this handyman service is going to be taking it. So we're, we're very fortunate, resident services being trained on this. As of May 15th of this year, you can go to resident services and pick up the service agreement, okay. which everybody, it's all there, and then you have to sign and turn in mm -hmm. with your check for $200. and. Uh, they're being trained so when you call into resident services they will know whether it's a regular co-op maintenance issue or if it's something for the handyman. And it's okay. a very simple form that they have to fill out. There's nothing complicated about it whatsoever. Okay. And another thing I'd like to say too, a lot of people would like to change out their bulbs so they've got LED bulbs mm -hmm. instead of the old mm -hmm. uh, twirly ones and yes. the ones before those. So this is a, a, a really good way you could save money. I, I believe you would have to buy the bulbs yourself, oh, yeah. though. Yeah. You'd have to buy the bulbs, and then the handyman would come out and replace them for you. Very the good. The nice thing is the fact that you get three two-hour visits. So if you have a handyman come out and say it's an alteration or whatever, uh, and these are the things that you need, then he, he, you can go buy them at Home Depot and he can come out a second time yeah, that's nice. and do them for us. So it doesn't have to all be done the first time and you don't have to know everything that you need the first time. They'll be able to guide you and help you in doing this. Now this service will start on June 4th, which is the first Monday in June. Okay. So sign up start May 15th and the actual service starts on June 4th. So okay. And if you want to do it today, you can go in and get your name on the list, and they'll call you when they're ready for uh, and send you the paperwork. Okay, a couple things I want to uh, clarify. Mm -hmm. uh, that if someone comes out and they are able to accomplish something in 10 minutes, mm -hmm. that counts as a visit. Yes. It's not yes. like someone can go, well, I right. still have the yeah. remainder yeah. time. No, and they do not right. roll over. So if They you do not roll over. If you don't use your three... Uh, visits this month, that doesn't mean you get six next okay, month. Okay, that's what I wanted to clarify. <laughs> no, All right. No. Very good. Anything else you ladies would like to add? No, we're just very, very thrilled that it finally went through. Yeah. Uh, we're proud and glad to be the pilot program, if you will, and hope that uh, third will maybe follow come along suit. this follow suit the next Thank year. You. 
because uh, we are really excited that it's going to do a lot of good things for our residents. Yeah, very good. And I just want to add that um, for people changing out their bulbs, which is really great, LED bulbs are now down to like pennies mm -hmm. compared yeah. to what mm -hmm. they used yes, to be. So uh, my house is almost totally LED now. Mm -hmm. So there's there's no reason not to use them. That's right. They're great. Mm -hmm. A lot more light. Better light mm -hmm. and yeah. longer lasting. And longer so, lasting. Yeah. Thank you very much. At our commercial. Good, Good to see you. you, Pat. Good to see you again here. Thank you, Ken. Take care of yourself. And we'll see you again soon. Oh, okay. absolutely. We'll be right back. Oh, 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 oh,